<clears throat> okay y'all this is Cody with Frenchies of IG and I thought that I would do a quick video basically to kind of try to show y'all exactly how you know your dog is going into labor uh, you know a few things that you really want to do definitely temperature definitely panting like Right now she is panting she isn't panting because she's been in the car she's actually panting because she's going into labor and uh, she was just kind of nesting her pillow under here uh, Jasmine got a video of her nesting the pillow I'm gonna show y'all that uh, within this clip but some of the things that you want to look for she uh, this particular dog she tried to use the bathroom but didn't cookie just basically went inside but what you want to look for is her she seemed as if she was constipated so she went out to use the bathroom several different times but was unsuccessful and just only a little bit of uh you know poop came out and another thing is you want to look for uh colors when she has like bluish greenish color coming as this discharge from her and she's also very close to giving labor also you want to look for uh the panting and you want to look for loss of appetite you know that's one of the things also and also milk you know uh milk production is you know a sign that she is close to giving labor so all of those things you want to definitely start taking temperatures and waiting for the temperature to drop right now we are at our vet that's the reason why the camera isn't so far because we at our veterinarian location and they told us uh, you should also expect to wait about an hour and a half to two hours at the veterinarian office if she is, you know, going to be getting a C-section. I don't uh, suggest for you to do any type of uh, live birth with French Bulldogs because they are known to, you know, have uh, pregnancy uh, labor complications considering that the heads of the dogs is pretty big and the bodies are small. So, you know, you just don't want to do that. You could lose the puppies and lose the mama if you, you know, was to consider to try to go with a live birth option. So I just wouldn't suggest doing that. And you want to definitely keep your veterinarian uh, location in the loop with everything that you are up to. You want to communicate with them. You want to talk to them. You want to let them know when the day's leading up to the labor. Just don't call them out of nowhere and say, well, she's in labor, I'm on my way. You know, you want to keep in touch with them but I definitely wouldn't suggest or agree with you doing a planned C-section, like a dated C-section, because you just never know. Uh, day, differences of days with uh, French Bulldogs is super important. So, you know, you don't want to do like, uh, well, I'm taking her on this day to get the C-section, or I'm taking her on that day to get the C-section. You want the C-section to be when a dog is ready to give labor. She has, her temperature has been below 99 since uh, yesterday noon, afternoon. So, you know, that also plays a, you know, major role is just keeping a track of the base temperature of the dogs. And don't switch around to a lot of different thermometers. Use one thermometer and get the temperature with that one thermometer, but make sure it's reliable. You know, maybe, you know, check the thermometer of some hot water and then, you know, check a thermometer. I mean, then check, check the temperature of some hot water and then check the temperature of the girl, you know, in between time. And also keep the thermometer in a location where it's not like really cold. You want to keep the thermometer in a location where it's like room temperature. A good place to keep the thermometer is on top of the refrigerator because if, you know, you got a smaller kitchen like me, heat rises to the top and on top of the refrigerator is a warmer place for a thermometer for a thermometer to be so that's a good location to keep a thermometer to keep track of the base temperature of your french bulldog before she go into labor and uh we will have thermometers for sale uh at foursmallbreeze.com that's f-o-r-s-m-a-l-l-b-r-e-e-d-s.com foursmallbreeze.com we will have thermometers for sale for dogs and um you know that's the end of this video I didn't plan on making it really long. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some clips of her after delivery. And I'm going to give you guys super exclusive clips of the puppies. 
I'm gonna show you guys the puppies when they come out. So <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, get some get some clips of that, a little bit of video of the puppies, and a little bit of video of the mom after waking up from uh after having her c-section and basically what to expect and also something that you want to request from your uh veterinarian office if it is an option is for them to do the laser treatment instead of the staples or the stitches for the mother's c-section that'll help it uh heal faster it'll lower it'll reduce you know the probability of any type of infections as well it is a is expensive you know for a veterinarian to have that type of uh, technology but it isn't very expensive for you to pay for it because a lot of people get get it so hopefully it's reasonable I think here it's only 15 to 30 dollars to have it uh, laser clo laserly closed so you know that is an option that you would much rather should go for if you do if your veterinarian office has that option choose it because it'll just lower the prob probability of having any type of infections which you definitely want to avoid at all costs and it'll heal sooner as well and uh that that's that's uh so a few anything that i think of that i didn't mention guys please let me know in the comments and if not in the comments send me a message on instagram anything that you know i should have mentioned also do the same comments or instagram but when the pups, when we get the pups back, I'm gonna give you guys some super exclusive footage of some Dale puppies. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna give you guys some super exclusive footage of how you would expect your mom to act after having a C-section and what's normal and what's not normal. Discharge will be normal. So don't get scared away when you see blood coming from the mom and she go out to use the bathroom. You know, I'm gonna show you, you know, some of the like upfront and close things that you, you know, probably wouldn't see on some of the other French Bulldogs channel. I know that, uh, who was that? Uh, Love My Pup show his dog after a C-section. Super helpful information. That guy got a lot of good information coming from his YouTube channel. I'm gonna also show my girl after her C-section so you can kind of know what to expect after having a C-section with a French Bulldog. I'm kind of standing in the back seat of my truck right now next to the kennel where Cookie was just at. She is in the vet right now and, uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys about this after she comes out. So the puppies is out here before the mama came. We got them at about a hundred. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it at 105 degrees to pretty much keep them keep them warm. Uh, you just want to make sure this is a really good current running from here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pretty much unplug the other stuff that's plugged into here, except my charger because I need it to use GPS and my phone is under 20%. But I could pretty much use it. I could pretty much get home without GPS. You're going to need some caffeine. So I advise you get some Pepsi too. Because you're going to be up trying to make sure the dogs can latch on every two hours. Here goes the exclusive footage of the puppies you guys are seeing at first. Let me see, baby. We have five puppies, two creams, and three merles. This is the only female here. Is the one right here. This is the only female. We won't do too much touching until we get some gloves on, guys. We, you know, was underprepared but overprepared because we got every single thing, even extra stuff that we didn't need. And the only thing we left was gloves. So uh, those are the puppies. We're going to keep them covered up for now. Uh, they they getting held by my beautiful girlfriend. She got the, got the puppies. And uh, we're going to take it from there.